Speaking of goals, one of my favorite professors in college was Wendy Lawrence. She was my physics instructor, and she was probably one of the tougher instructors I had because she really held us accountable and really talked to us about why goals mattered so much. And Wendy ended up becoming an astronaut. And I recently had her on the podcast, and her message is all about the need to dream the dream. And she feels so many people start their dreams and then they run into an obstacle or they receive negative feedback, something you discuss in the book. And she realized that by taking constant action, something that you cover in chapter five, that it was extremely important for her on her path to achieving her goal. So I was hoping you might be able to use that as a backdrop for discussing the goal gradient effect, what it is and why is it important to our progress? So the goal gradient effect refers to uh, our tendency to be more motivated the more progress we make. And you can see this, for example, with uh, college dropouts. Okay? Uh, about half of the people that start college in the US will drop college, which is a huge waste of time and, and money for these people. And they usually drop college at the beginning, okay, like the first or, or maybe the second year. Like if you think about four-year college, very few people will drop it when they are one semester away from uh, uh, getting a college degree. Uh, we see the same effects with, with loyalty programs. Okay, People start a program, okay, make a purchase and forget that they are part of the program. When they're one purchase away from the reward, they are highly motivated to uh, get it done. Uh, you mentioned you uh, have a dog. I, I bet uh, uh, you know you, your your dog is very happy to uh, to see you, and so starts running toward you. And as the dog gets closer to you, they run more uh, quickly. Okay, they are uh, more eager, and there is greater motivation. Uh, what we see here is. A basic effect where your first few actions have uh, less impact on, on the goal than your last action. If we you now we go back to my college degree example, your first year gets you a, a quarter or four year college degree. Uh, your last year gets you a full uh, four year college degree. And so you feel like you are getting more for the same unit of effort. And that's motivating. It also means that we can trick ourselves into being more motivated by thinking about what we've already done okay? and in a way exaggerating how much progress we already made. If we, uh, you know, for example, think that we already signed up for college uh, last year, so we're already like a year into the process, uh, we feel that we are already like closer in relative terms to the end and you get this uh, boost in motivation by the way every marketing program that is giving you free uh, stamps or free progress this is what they are trying to do okay they are you know, trying to motivate you to stick to the loyalty program by giving you this illusory progress already on the goal gradient, okay, you are already uh, <laughs> making progress, but we can use it to motivate ourselves. 